Okay, so um, I just recorded the start of the, the painting session and checked the video and saw that it was so glary you couldn't see anything. So I've rearranged everything, so hopefully the video footage will capture what's going on. I simply erased the painting that was there before, which is kind of, you know, is also a worthwhile thing to see that, you know, if you make a mistake, you can very easily erase with your rag the paint that you've put down. But that's what this kind of color difference is here. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin with uh, a mixture of titanium white and ivory black that is just about one step above the, the stain that we have, one or two steps. And that's right here, you can, hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to take my number 10 round brush and I'm going to draw in my drawing. The first thing I'm going to do is sight the angle of the line in the background. So the line that is the division between the background paper and the, the, the ground plane. So background and ground I'm going to call them. I'm not going to make a centralized composition because the egg in, my, in relationship to me is actually a little bit more to the right. So I'm going to make a composition where my egg is on the right. Now I'm going to measure the length of the egg against the height of the egg. So if this is one unit of measurement then the egg's height is three quarters of that unit. So I would say that's about three quarters. So our egg is going to be somewhere around here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about the contours that I see on the egg. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm I'm going to create the contour of this egg by the values that are around it. So my this edge that you see is the actual contour and then I'm trying to um, think about where I'm going to be putting other values to create those contours that I can, the contours that I can see. So there you go. So that's just the the start of my egg. I'm not going to worry too much about anything being exact right now. I'm just going to put in a basic shape. And then I'm going to think about where my light's coming from. My light's coming through here. And now I'm also going to look down here. I'm going to look at the placement of the cast shadow that's coming through. About here. My cast shadow, the length of it from the egg when I measure with my brush here is about one unit. So it's going to bring it right up to the egg here, right up to the edge of the panel right here. And then I'm going to look right now at the distance between here and my line and I can see that my, my line should be much higher. So I'm going to move my line up here and I'm going to move my line up on that side too. And these are your rag. I'm going to use my rag. Sorry, I put my papers in my mouth. I'm going to use my rag. I'm going to remove that space. And I'm going to apply my value inside my cast shadow. Cast shadow is coming from here and moving through there. And on the other side, we have a shape it's like this. I'm going to use this value here. Create that edge of the egg, and here's my line. Squint my eyes at the egg, and I can see that here the background is darker than the egg. 
Here the background is lighter than the cast shadow that's on the egg. that contour cleanish for now. And you'll notice that I'm not really freaking out about anything. I'm just trying to get the information onto the panel. I'm going to change my brush out. This is a... the, the brush is so old you can't even see what it is. But this is a much more um, coarse brush, so I can get some more information down. this bigger, more coarse brush. Now, I still haven't changed the values that I'm, I'm working with. So you'll notice that the when you paint on the panel that it can be a little bit slippery. Now one of the ways you can change that is by sanding it with like a coarser sandpaper which can um, tear up the surface so that it's got a little bit more grit to it. When you move when we move to the painting on canvas, you will see that the tooth of the canvas helps to keep the paint all in place. So I'm still only using my mixture here of titanium white and ivory black with the odorless mineral spirits. I'm starting to look at the shape of the egg a bit more now and try to find the exact shape of that contour. Again, drawing with the back of my brush. So now I can think just as I squint my eyes and I look at my values, I can see more values coming through here for that paper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just darken my mixture a little bit. Another step on the scale. Oops, a little bit more than a step. So as you start mixing your paints, you're going to notice that a little bit of paint goes a really long way with certain types of um, hues or colors. I'm going to go back to my mixture, and again, I'm going to use my clean mineral spirits.
So the egg is showing us the different divisions of light, and then we can also see it on the surrounding paper. Place this white line from my brush here with a dark line because that's what's there. So now my egg is starting to become dimensional. go back to my previous mixture which was the lighter value actually I don't even have to put any on my brush I didn't clean my brush so it's still got some of that color on there apply my value and then use my rag to lift some of that color off Two, I have my rag out, I'm just going to keep pulling out this reflected light down here because that's real important and strong and I want to make sure that I don't lose that. I'm going to scrape my eyes and find some places that I see this darker value. back out after I just painted it by accident. Okay. Look again at that background line again I'm thinking wow yeah, I got that wrong. It's even higher than I had placed it so let's see. Higher up here. Right along that edge, you have reflected light bouncing from the bottom to the top piece back here. So, I'm go through and just want that reflected light. And over here as well, some reflected light too. And then in here too, there's areas that are going to be lighter, a little bit like Bob Ross. Okay. I'm trying to remember not to teach you all bad habits. Use your rag here. This darker value, there's a darker value down there that's going to come. 
up the egg. And then extend it into that shape back there. Still haven't used any medium, still using the odorless mineral spirit. I want to reinforce the idea that right now I'm kind of interested in just feeling our way through the materials and I want you to try to not get carried away by brush strokes and textures. So again, I'm going to go mix in a little bit more of the ivory black and take my values down one more step. I always kind of like to do, when I'm doing observ observational painting, I'll do this kind of often so I can see what I have make sure that it's the value or the color that I'm looking for. It's a lot of reflected light in that cast shadow. Definitely don't want to lose that reflected light. What's great about working with paint is that it's really malleable, so if you make a mistake, you can just pull it out. I'm going to use the back of my brush again right here because I really want to find this contour. It's kind of like that. So I just pulled out that reflected light that's back there, but I'm now going to really make that reflected light come alive by putting a darker value next to it and going back and again fixing that I just did. Let's try that again. You know, that I've been making these videos and making my wife watch them for editorial reasons. She said the one thing that she liked about the egg one, and one of the reasons why she didn't think I should shorten it, I should put up their full length, was that while watching the process you could see when I made mistakes and that made her you know feel comfortable at, in a way because she felt that if she was doing this she would be happy to see that you can make mistakes and that it's not the end of the, the process so I you know trying to show you that these things don't just happen. That's the wonder of painting, really, right? Like, is that the idea that 
you're you walk in, for instance, at the Ringling Museum where they have those giant Rubens. You just look at them and think, "Wow, you know, how did how did a human create such you know wonderful gigantic paintings?" And that's the magic. The magic, I think. The magic begins with something like this. Sometimes, like what's ha what happens, sometimes what's happening over here, I've noticed is that the contour is less pointy than we think when it comes to an egg and so I keep going back and looking at it and saying you know it's rounder than that it's rounder than that I'm going to use a clean brush to do some blending. And you can see that that middle tone value is just like you don't need, you know, it's not, I haven't touched white, but look how white that looks, you know? Radical! 